YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid, man. Today we are talking about Sharif Cooper. This dude has been going crazy. His stock is going up and a lot of people are taking notice. And Zaire Wade, we have some breaking news with this dude. He is not going to college. I'm gonna tell you straight up right now, he is not going. So let's break it down and get right into it. Now, first and foremost, Sharif Cooper, of course, you guys know ever since this dude basically put his name in the draft, he has been going crazy. A lot of people have been talking about him, but what a number of people have not noticed is his stock is actually going up in the draft, which is very interesting. Now, I'd recently reported on this dude because, of course, one thing that a lot of people wanted to see him improve on was his jump shot, especially that three point percentage. Now, in college, he definitely did not shoot well from the three point line but somehow still found a way to average a decent amount of points, which was very impressive. Now this dude, in my opinion, he had changed his form and I actually made a previous video about it. And this dude's form is actually looking a lot better. Now it may be a tad bit slow, but he's definitely definitely not leaning back like he used to. And it actually looks somewhat smoother. So he definitely put in a ton of time to improve that jump shot. But as that is happening, what a lot of people are not noticing about this dude is that his draft stock is actually increasing a ton. Now, a tweet was actually put out stating this. There's a growing interest in Auburn star point guard Sharif Cooper, arguably the best pure point guard of this class. 10 of the 12 lotto teams have either met or scheduled to meet him ahead of the NBA draft, a source told me. Overall, 25 teams have reached out. 25 teams. Man, I think this clearly shows you how much worth Sharif Cooper has and the type of talent he brings to the table. Now, I said this right when I started really heavily following Sharif Cooper, which was in college, I gotta be honest, man, the impact on the game that he has is insane. I really didn't see any other player in college basketball have that type of impact where they have such an ability to have a high IQ, get your teammates involved, but also score the basketball. And the fact that he was not shooting well from the three point line shows you how good of an attacker this dude, and he's clearly not afraid of any type of competition, especially any type of contact at the basket and that's what i love about this guy he is a fierce competitor and is not afraid of anyone now with that tweet being said i think it's very impressive and the only teams that actually have not reached out to sharif cooper yet are the spurs pistons nuggets jazz and the knicks now i find that very interesting but man sharif cooper's draft stock is going up and he's looking very impressive and he actually reacted to this tweet but man i think sharif cooper has an excellent shot at being one of the best players in the far future I think there's some things just in basketball you can't teach. Some people just have a really good feel for the game. And of course, Sharif Cooper in that point guard position, I don't think anyone is really touching him there. Regardless if people do get drafted ahead of him or after him, there's just something about his game that cannot be replicated regardless of what other player you go to. Now, of course, other players in the draft, Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, Jalen Suggs, they do excellent things and bring their own value to the table. But man, there is something about Sharif Cooper's game that people just cannot touch. Now, with that being said, a lot of people were correcting me in the comments section, basically stated, yes, the draft is the 29th, but man, where do you guys think Sharif Cooper will get drafted? And of course, Kyrie Walker's name has been coming up in the draft as well. A lot of people are talking about this dude and how he's going to get signed, and he's stirring a lot of heads too. So let me know about these two guys. What do you think? Do you think I missed anything about Sharif Cooper? Do you think he will get drafted? Where do you think he's going to get drafted? Is he a top five pick? Let me know in the comments down below. The only thing that people are saying is really Really that jump shot one and his height he's not the tallest player out here but definitely can bring a lot of value to the table so let me know in the comments down below now on the other hand i have to talk about this man zaire wade now zaire wade's been putting in a ton of work like usual you guys know this but man the question continues to come up where is he going to go after going to brewster academy which of course is where he went after he left sierra canyon now in my opinion i'm gonna state it right now this dude's not going to college and that's breaking news but a lot of people in my opinion of course this is my take a lot of people think he was going to go to college but personally i don't see it as of right now now the reason i'm saying this is because if we look at the date right now it's about july now with that being said there are other people on his team who have already committed to colleges way longer ago and it seems like he's dragging his feet or not committing to a school and hasn't even put out any type of list of schools that he would be interested in going to now when you wait this long and he hasn't put out that list and we really haven't heard much from this dude except just seeing footage of him in the gym continuously i think something's fishy here and the reason i say this is because usually people commit 
in the summertime much earlier than this and they end up going to the school working out put in a ton of work and getting comfortable in that type of environment wherever they're playing at now Zaire of course has offers from schools but I just don't see this dude actually ending up at a college now I think it would be a great place for him to be especially since this would just be the most logical step for this dude but man if you wait this long he's not showing any type of interest that we've seen on social media or any type of reports it really to me seems like he's not interested in going the college route and has something stored that not a lot of people are seeing yet and I think he's going to shock a ton of people I'm calling it right now a lot of people may disagree with this but I see this dude maybe even going overseas or doing something different that not a lot of people have done now he definitely has a lot to improve on on his game but definitely one thing you cannot say is he doesn't get his reps in and get into the gym now we actually posted this video on his Twitter a while ago and I want you guys to see this now he is dunking over this dude that is 6'9 now this is very impressive here and again one thing we cannot say is this boy does not have bounce he is definitely putting in work in the gym hitting the vertimax and is for sure a hard worker and is dedicated to the game but man a lot of people think he's going to college but I really just do not see it as of right now in my opinion there would be no reason as to wait this long before you end up committing to a school and saying okay I'm gonna go there and play the next year now of course basketball is a winter sport but in addition to this it really doesn't matter because a lot of these guys end up going to these type of gyms and programs in the summer to try to get some shots of work on their game meet their teammates of course that's grind time when you really have that ability just to work on your game improve overall before the beginning of the season. Now, with Zyra Wade, in my opinion, not having the ideal career as of right now, he has a lot of work and a lot of things that he needs to prove on, but specifically, he has to prove himself on the court. He's had glimpses here and there where he's killing, and especially back when he was in Florida, this dude was the man on the court. But of course, competition gets better, and you have to be able to maneuver with the times and show that you can still kill on the court and really be a dog, get buckets, and do what you do on the court. And I think we just haven't seen him play in such a long time, of course, in Brewster Academy, but we really didn't get that type of footage because they weren't allowing Ball is Life and these other type of production companies to actually come and film in these schools. So we're only gonna have to wait and see where he does end up going. But personally, man, I think it's a long shot if this dude does go to college. I see him going a different route as of right now, and he is for sure gonna shock a ton of people. Now, you guys let me know in the comments down below if you think I missed anything about this topic, but to me, it seems pretty clear that number one, Sharif Cooper is going crazy. People are starting, starting to finally realize this dude's potential and the type of value and the type of talent he can bring to an NBA team. And of course, this dude seems like he'll do whatever it has to be done to sacrifice and get the team a W. So hopefully his game really does translate very well. But man, you guys know IQ can never be taken away from you. Other things, athletic Athleticism, that type of stuff can be taken away, but IQ is always there. And what do you think about my take on Zaire Wade? Do you think I missed anything about this topic? What do you think about this dude going to college? Is he going overseas? Let me know in the comments down below. But like I said, I see this dude taking an alternative route, shocking a ton of people and not going to college. But you guys let me know in the comments down below. Man, leave any video suggestions that you do have. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, get a notification every time I upload a new video. Again, I appreciate Appreciate each and every one of you selling each and out.